Hello, I'm Robert Wilkie. On behalf of the Department of Veterans Affairs and the veterans we are deeply honored to serve, I want to say thank you to our country's more than six million living Vietnam veterans and their families. This day has deep resonance with me. My father served multiple tours in Vietnam and was gravely wounded in the invasion of Cambodia. So badly wounded that he spent a year in an army hospital before he was allowed to come home. Three years ago, President Trump signed the Vietnam War Veterans Recognition Act into law. That act designates every March 29th as National Vietnam War Veterans Day. It was March 29th, 1973, when the last of our combat troops left Vietnam. It was on that day that the last American prisoners of war held in North Vietnam came home. Last year, in ceremonies across the nation, VA employees directly thanked and presented commemorative lapel pins to more than 80,000 Vietnam veterans for their service and sacrifices some five decades ago. Today, we continue to honor the nine million American men and women who served on active duty from November 1st, 1955 to May 7th, 1975. We solemnly remember more than 58,000 whose names are etched into the Vietnam Memorial's polished black granite, permanent reminders of the price of freedom. I urge you all to take this opportunity to show your gratitude to this proud generation of American service members who suffered so much and yet received so little thanks upon their return. Let's make it up to them. Let's make it up to them this year by saying thank you and welcome home. God bless all of you, your families, and this great nation.